I'll be intrigued to know this. Talk me through a day in the life of Tough Tim Twist. We're talking religious, culture, appreciation here. Give me a day in the life of Tough Tim Twist. Now, presently. Right now, yeah. Right. Apart from obviously coming on to the world's greatest podcast, but, you know, okay. any other given day. I'm going to get... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it real, I'm going to get deep, and I'm going to um, tell the truth. I start every day suicidal. Until I wake up and get out of bed, I, I wish I was dead. You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Yo, Nolan Poland Records for underground classics. NoPolandRecords.com Beatbox created And we need to talk about world music and street culture Killer Keller Podcast Alrighty, here comes trouble Turn it up, turn it on Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast Live and direct, central London Or as central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be You don't want to be anywhere else, trust me Central of London for your sins. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, nolpolandrecords.com, and of course, Strain Station, and all the other affiliates that are inside the ride. If you haven't checked the television app, get the fuck involved, all right? All street culture, DJ mixes, everything for your sporting art. That's how we're rolling out here. Uh, without question, it's another fucking street culture day. But not one like normal. We have a gentleman that, without question, it, you get these people in your lives that help you and I mean really help you give you a leg up see potential in things he's that guy for me he taught me a load of shit not to mention he put me in rock steady crew not to mention he is still living testament to b-boyism and the culture of hip-hop breaker graffiti writer MC DJ you name it he's done it fucking all and he'll do it again the mighty fucking put your glasses down and raise your hands for tough Tim Twist What's up? What are we saying? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> How was that for an intro? Oh, wow, one intro, man. Yeah. Don't yeah. get more real than you, my brother. The buck. Thank you. Man. The buck fucking pretty much stops at you, my yeah, friend. Man. You know what I mean? Rock steady. Well, let's just begin. What the fuck? What are you doing down here? I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> I'm here for this interview. <laughs> you know, we've been planning this for so long. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So long. So. Yeah. Just ready to drop some bombs. Ready to drop some bombs. You know I mean? Hey, we ain't playing out here. Uh, UK um, has seen a lot of changes, and you, my friend, have been such a pivotal figurehead mm. in the scene of hip hop in all of its aspects. Um, if you don't mind me uh, admitting your age uh, of 50, 57. 57. 57 years old. That was quite. Still breaking. Yep. Kids. He's still b boying. Never stopped. Only. I had to have time off because of injuries, nothing else. People mm. think I've stopped. Mm. No, I, so, I, I had to rest for injuries. Fucking tiff 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 I think that's what it's people simple as that. People, people talk it, but when you actually are it, it embodies the fuck out of you, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't do it. I can't live without it, man. Yeah, I can't. Literally, I'll, I'll, I'll I was dying. I was dying without it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I had to do it. It Lots saved my, me again. You know, you, we talk about graffiti saved my life, hip hop yeah. saved my life. Yeah. That shit's true, man. Really. It's really true. You felt you, you know? felt that. And the thing is, you know, we're talking about my age, 57. I'm quite quite old, you know what I mean? I started this quite old as well. I was 18 when I started it, but that's when it first came out mm. over here. I was, I mean, a lot of my generation were are a lot younger than me. You know, we're talking like when I was 18, they were the, like the, the Manchester B-Boys were like, 12, 13, 14, mm. you know what I mean? They mm. were still at school. I'd already left home. Mm. I'd already left school. I was like... You know, I had a spell of, like, homelessness and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Going from, like, leaving home to, like, trying to find myself yeah. out 
yeah. in the open, you know what I mean? Wow. Coming from a, a bad life at home as yeah. well. So finding hip-hop was for the very first time in my life I was told, you know, when I did something, I had people go, wow, wow, that's great, that's mm-hmm. great, wow, <laughs> that's amazing what you're doing. And I was like, yeah, what wow. the fuck's that? I think there might be some mileage, there's some never mileage in be- this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've never had that before. And I was told as a, as a kid growing up by my stepmother that I was nothing. I was like worthless. I'll never, I'll end up being with nobody and mm. doing nothing and, you, you know, worthless mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. And I believe that when you're a little kid. And you hear that all the time, day in and day out. Mm. And you're getting abused like that all the time, mentally oh, and physically. Fuck, bro, yeah. You believe it. Yeah. So as soon as hip hop come along, and I did it for the first time, and I got the audience reaction, it, I ain't letting go of that no more. As soon as I grab, I went, I'm having that. It fed I'm something. having it, and I'm keeping it, it, and I'm never gonna let it go because this is who I am. Now. It fed something in you, didn't mm. it? Does that thing ever leave you, like... I mean, through the course of your surviving, you know, this crazy world and being a B-boy, which obviously has its ebbs and flows, you know? Yeah. There's trends in this culture. You've just maintained it the whole time. Does it ever change? Does that feeling ever change? It's changed, and I'll tell you why. Because people are dropped off. Yeah. My, think about it, right? I'm still Yo. dancing in a generation that are killing it now. Mm. Most of my generation, 90%, probably more, mm. quit within the, before the late 80s. Before the 80s are over, they mm. all quit. So I'm like trying to... Well, basically, that generation, my generation, the ones I, that inspired me, the ones I wanted to be, mm. I grew up with, it were, it were my idols. They told me to go away and, you know, practice. If you want to hang out with us... Because mm. back then it wasn't like you could just go up to a b-boy and just hang out and... No, you had to Break earn down, that in. You have to earn it, You had yeah. to earn that big time. Mm. You, you know, if you weren't good enough, you, it was pecking orders. Yeah, if yeah. you ain't good, you don't get good eight, enough... You don't get eight race trophies. You no. have to be fucking good, yeah. So you were told to go away and train, you know, and and, and put your work in yeah. to, to even get the opportunity to, to speak to another... A uh, higher ranking b-boy mm. so i did that i went away i trained and by the time i come back and was ready they'd gone they disappeared i was like what the fuck you, t- you guys told me huh. to go and train i did it and then you disappeared on me <sighs> left me alone to fight with this new generation yeah. <laughs> we literally lost well, the know, mohican i'm shit. happy to do that i'm happy to do that you know i'm representing as as well as I can. Yeah, I'm was... not there yet. You know, I'm still not there yet with my own, um, my own journey. I'm still, I'm like I probably say fifty percent back to where I was. You know, the stamina thing is a hard thing. Mm. It's not so you never lose the moves, the technique. You'll you'll never forget that. Mm. I've not forgot that, but your body changes. Mm. You know. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about. Uh, and we are skipping a few conversations here, but I am curious to know how, because there's a lot of there's a lot of b boys and b girls out there that are probably watching this thinking, wonder what happens at a certain point in your age. Wonder what happens to these moves. Can I still do them? How does your body respond to things? How does your mind respond to your body? Mm. Can we get into that briefly? Like, yeah, there's them levels. You, 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 that's quite interesting because you you touched on the different levels. That how does the mind think about it? How does the body change? <laughs> Um, the biggest thing for me is your environment. If you're living, I mean, I look around, right? There's, there's a few B-boys still of my generation. They may be a little bit younger than me. Like I said, I started, it hit me. Oh, or the, the culture hit my area, unfortunately, a bit later than the inner cities. And mm. I was from a small town. So the, the likes of Manchester, London, Liverpool, places like that, and Birmingham, blah, blah, mm. blah, they got it. 82-ish, whereas it hit me late 83, 84. I always say 84. 83 for me was like, it was it was late 83, mm. the end of the summer kind of thing. You know what I mean? I don't class that. Mm. So I, I kind of like switched between 83, 84. Mm. So they had like two or three years ahead of me, you know what I mean? And plus they were younger and a few other things like that. Mm. But um, so, yeah, you know, the... the, the 
the environment. Exactly. The environment is so important. Mm -hmm. If you've got a good, I know the, the generation of b-boys that are still doing it of my era, my age, similar age, they're living in better environments as far as I'm concerned. You mm. know what I mean? Where I live, in, I'm still living in a small town. There's nobody doing it there. So where, where exactly is I that? I live in Runcorn in Cheshire, oh, Runcorn, Cheshire, which is like, wow. it's only 10 minutes from Liverpool, yeah. but it isn't a great scene in Liverpool either. Yeah. I mean, think about this. It's all my generation. Again, it's about a generation thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I've got no none of my generation to vibe off to, to talk to. This, this new generation, they're a whole different... It's a whole different ball game to them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the ones, a lot of the, the b-boys you'll find if you go up and down the country, the, the from, the, the, the either, um, they've moved over here from other countries, mm -hmm. a lot of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There are a lot of them foreigners who are living in Manchester or mm -hmm. Liverpool mm -hmm. or Birmingham or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There are b-boys from them, them areas, but most, you know, the, most of them are inspired by the ones that have come into the area from a different mm. country. You know, I see that a lot mm. through the, um, the the early noughties, you know what I mean? You saw a turnaround of um, Euro European... Yeah, um, and yeah, they all started to come over because they were doing, like, probably university <laughs> and college and stuff, you know what I mean? I think I think there's a, there's a level of gravity that I think people don't... They don't often come across um in and that is how break dancing is as an underground scene is so interconnected and it's actually really big but mm. but but it where it's gone through its ebbs and flows of being on trend and off trend people don't realize that this ain't a trend to people this is mm. their fucking lives yeah 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 it's they literally just do breaking and that's a that's you know there's of the sub of sub, subcultures like graffiti and whatnot, you know, it, it, visible in plain sight, invisible in yeah, plain yeah, sight yeah. kind of thing. Um, and it's the same with breakdancing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, to a certain extent, yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's It totally is a lifestyle, you know. Mm. You've got to, if you want to excel at it, it's got to be 100%. Mm. You've got to sacrifice a lot of things, you know what I mean? Did you sacrifice a lot? Oh, loads, man. What, what, what My... specific? I'm curious to know. Because oh, you seem like you've gained a fucking lot. I'd like lot. to believe... Uh, <laughs> And yeah, I've gained so much. Yeah. But I believe I sacrificed my 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 relationship, my marriage broke up because of it, I would say. Because I was so oof, tunnel vision, you know what I mean? Really? I, I you know my passion for the for the for the dance was number one for me. I knew how I it's, it's like anything else, you know, if you want to be at the top of your the, the, top of your game or the top of the game, you've got to put 100% into it. And sometimes it'll affect everything around you, your family. I've had to miss out on a lot of normal things, so-called normal things that people do, mm. you know what I mean? I mean, I've not had a regular <clears throat> holiday for years. Mm. I've not gone to a beach and just sat down and done nothing. All my trips around the world have been for b-boying, you know what I mean? I've been to some great places, but they've always been... To dance, for an you know what I mean? Yeah, Dude, which is great, you know. Oh, I loved yeah, it. Yeah. You know, I'm thankful for that for for those opportunities. But you do miss out on regular sh stuff, you know. You you just pretty so much, they're, they're, they're your sacrifices. That... You pretty much like painted the picture of me in my life. That's mm. exactly what I go through. It's and I love it. Uh, it's it's like an itch that I'm constantly scratching, and I can't stop. I can't stop and say, yeah, let's go on holiday. Or, yeah, all right, let's get married. Or, yeah, okay, cool, let's buy a dog. It just doesn't work like that for no, me. No, I just can't, I can't, no. I just tick in a different way and I'm sh I'm sure that's what you're getting at. It's like, it's not a, it's almost like you've got a mission. It's a mission. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I miss, I mean, I kind <clears> of, um, <throat> I wish, it, you know, I wish I had more than one life. <laughs> If you know what I mean? Oh, I, I, wish, I wish it so that I come back and do them other things. Yeah. Maybe we will do, but, you know. Does, do, does life, does things. life, does life... Because, um, again, we're talking to, in my mind... Actually, hold on, let's, let's re-up a minute. Rock City Crew, there was a guy called Vets, graffiti writer called Vets. Yeah. He was from Cheshire, wasn't he? Yeah, he Big was up from... Vets. He was well, that's from my guy. Chester, yeah, yeah. What Dave, happened, yeah, Dave what happened to Dave? Yeah, what he's happened still, to him? He's still... Painting, but I it, need to connect with my guy. That's my fucking dog. He's doing um a lot of um. 
community work now. Right, okay. Yeah, so... Because okay. Rock City Crew, you know, you were bringing them in like an Ikea opening at once. Yeah. And it was just like me, We had a big Sonnenoise, squad in the UK at one time. Mouse, you know I mean? yeah. Evo, yeah. you know. TC Break, obviously, mm. my partner. My original B-boy partner from day one, yeah. you know what I mean? The but even that, that's what I'm saying. We're talking about, you're talking about sacrifices, talking about what we've lost. I lost that friendship with me and him. Really? Because it got, the moment we, see, somebody mentions, I, I've just recently, there's a um, guy out in Korea who puts a lot of videos up. I, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Jun Rock or something. Okay. He's uh, just recently put a, a video up of me in Battle of the Year, 1993. It's on my social Casual. media. Wow. And um, somebody mentioned how, how they loved um, my rawness on that, you know, the wild spirit style. Mm. The first time I ever heard that was when Fable talked about Maurizio, how he danced. What? Yeah. The wild spirit. Hold you know, like dancing without then, really holding back and just yeah. like, you can see he's flowing and not mm. thinking about it. That he's happiness. just waiting for the next thing to happen. Just, Funneling through him. Yeah, just, just by, it. by, like freestyling, yeah. you know? Genuine freestyling, because not many of us, many yeah. b-boys freestyle. You can see that in the quality of the dance, how, how you can see from the beginning that they're going to, they know exactly what they're going to do, and they're going to do it, they're going to execute, execute it, finish it, it's going to be crisp, clean, and it's going to be great. We're going to walk off and that's it, bang. Yeah. And sometimes you might not get a feel, but when you see somebody just go off and it's just like raw, mm. free spirit, where you're not sure what they're going to do, but Yo, this, you're getting some lessons right here, guys. This is what mm. this guy said to me. And I, I explained to him how I, how I lost that and why I lost that. Why did you lose it? When we've drawn Rock Steady, it all become very, very serious. In a good, in, in two ways, good and bad to me. It, we had, we, you know, when we started to learn the, the, the history Mm. I'm not going to say the true history or the blah, 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 because mm, yeah. New York, every block, every street has a history. Mm. You go to, I mean, for a long time we've said Rocksteady is, is the history. Mm. It's the history. It's, mm. it's the history. It's the knowledge. It's it. It's, it's not it yeah. because there's so many more. I'm telling you, if you go, you go from block to block in New York and they'll, and they'll swear that's... That's the the the, the history. Mm. The history is the 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 history. I've always said to people as well, you know, if you go to New York and you look at the concrete, the concrete you know knows more about hip hop than we'll ever know. The concrete, the bricks, the stones, just, you know, the buildings because they've lived around it. God, I love you more so than the, than we have. You know, we can da we can do hip hop all our lives, but yeah. we will never understand it more than the the stones and the rocks in New York City, the pavement, the the bricks. You know, yeah. real and, talk. Because that's real. You know, you that's, <laughs> hip hop can exist worldwide. We know that now, mm. but it's nothing like New York hip hop. I'm telling you that now. You've been to New, you went to New York a number of times, didn't you? Uh, ten times now. Yeah, I was stuck on nine for a long time, and I was I've got to get them double figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, I'm hoping to go out for the BC one in in November, twelfth yeah. of November. Nice. Um, but yeah, that um, losing that 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 ability to just not think too much about dancing made me. Changed my dancing. Mm -hmm. You know, I got more strict there with everything, and it, and it caused a lot of conflict within the crew, the people around me, the whole lot. Because I was like, I was like, nah, this is gospel. You've mm -hmm. got to do it this way. We've got to do it mm -hmm. that way. And I found eventually that I was spreading it. I was getting told this stuff, mm -hmm. spreading it, and finding out that they weren't. Mm -hmm. They were changing it, and I'm going. But I've just if been. You do, do, do. If yeah. you're telling me this and I'm t and I'm yeah. now preaching it and telling it and now you're changing it, yeah. How do you what expect does that if mean? New York yeah. can't see if New York City can't get hip hop right, the history, the stories, if they can't stop beefing and work it out, mm. how the how can they expect those to get it right and, and spread the word and get right. and and teach people about the terminology and the history and mm. where it come from and why and when and where the W's, yeah. The as, w, a, w, w, as, a, as a as a uh, 
as a mentor that you are still to me, as so far as Rocksteady goes and so far as your history and knowledge. Um, to my admission, and I think you'll appreciate me saying this, and it'll add value to what you're, where you're coming from, I, I always felt you as quite a rigid, f- formulaic character within the crew, a, a captain of sorts. Mm. And you were, you, even now, one of the fucking nicest guys you'll ever meet, but also very, very tough on yourself and everybody else, mm. so far as what expectations are within the culture. Yes, of course. It's slacked off a bit mm. in myself. I'm not going to show you that. Well, really? I'm relaxed. I I'm don't chill believe now. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more chill now. I don't now. believe you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm more chill now. Really? You know what I mean? Is that, age, is that age and wisdom? It's bit? age, yeah. wisdom, and also that was what I was just telling you about. Yeah. I've been told this stuff, yeah. and I'm now hearing... The complete um, opposite or whatever? Yeah, not just the opposite. Not, not completely the opposite. They change, swap and change, as and when they please, mm. when they need to for whatever audience they're talking to. I see. Whereas me, I'll tell the story to every audience the same. Yeah. Because I believed that's what the story was. Yeah. Give me an example of The what? example? Yeah, give me an example. I, I was going to jump straight in when yeah. you used the terminology <laughs> breakdance. <laughs> right, okay. Which we were told it was called... B-boy. We were pushing recently. I've just put another post up recently on 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 um, Facebook asking that question: Where did the word b boying go to? Because yeah. you remember yourself, yeah. we were t- we were pushing that hard. Rocksteady were pushing that hard because we were told that was the terminology we're going to be using now. Mm. It was a terminology um, that fitted. Yeah, it sounded right, and. It's the it's the name of the dance, but all, we we all know it was it before it became it got, got given any name at all. It went through a different number of names, yeah. like the go off, the get down, the boy oying. Because people don't even know all this, this stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? And this is way before it, be, it ever become breaking or break dance yeah. or b boying. Yeah, b boying was to me was obviously just a natural. Um, Terminology from the word b-boy, yeah. which is the break boy dancing on the break, yeah. or Bronx boy. Yeah, Ooh. depends on who you're asking. Mm. You know what I mean? Again, depends on who you're asking. If you ask this guy, he'll say it's the Bronx, it, the bees for the Bronx. The other guy will say it's a bee for, for for break for dancing on the break. We dance on the break because we all know the story of the um of of her recognizing, watching, and seeing, mm. and going, wow. Then, why are they getting down? Why are the b-boy? Why are these mm. dancers going on the floor at this point in a record? Mm. And then he going, it's the breaks, it's the yeah, beats, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's a point. How do I keep them dancing? Because mm. everybody's loving it. You know, how do I keep them dancing? I get two. You know, we get two of the records. Him and Flash. You you seen oh, the get down? Have so you watched the get down? The series? Uh, no, I haven't. you know how surprised I am at people that the amount of people that haven't watched that yet. I'm surprised because it took me a long time to. I watched it when it first came out right. and stopped. I think it was only one series at first though. I don't know what happened. I just got distracted. Blah blah blah. Mm. And I came back to it, watched the whole lot. Wow, really? To me, it's the closest thing. So for when we when we started, we had Wild Style, Beat Street, Style mm. Wars. Mm. Um, Black Dance America, some tiny clip mm-hmm. of Icy Ice. Um, we had Flash Dance um, and the Breakdance, the movies, mm-hmm. yeah? yeah, the LA ones. Yeah. Iconic. So the get down for me, over the years, you know, they, they've tried the hardest at making new B Boy Breakdance, mm. whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. movies. Like, um, what do you call them? Um, but, uh, he got served. Yeah, he, he got served. Whatever it's called. Oh yeah, all them, yes, all them, yes, all yes, these yes. ones. Yeah, they've made a few of them. To me, yeah, yeah, just... even the Battle of the Year one, they've made they made a few. The the two, the the um, it's not enough history. Really. It's just like they're trying to just make a new movie. Mm. Yeah, mm. the Get Down. It's history. Really, the dropping bombs. Yeah, a lot of people Ooh. arguing and discussing about um, the. Um, the flexibility of those stories, but 
it definitely it's it's it's, it's inspired me like them old films inspired me. Beat Street, Wild Style, Star oh, Wars. Just put one on and, and it's it took on. a long time for something like that to come along. I'm yes. telling you, it's what's it's what's so driven down. me. You've got to check it out. Yeah, I'm the get down. Out. Um, Willie Estrada, he was um, part of the t- the team. He's actually in it as well, you know what I mean? He's a rocker, an old rocker from New York. He's in his 60s, you wow, know what I mean? Wow, wow, wow. So he's still teaching rocking and, and Latino dance and all that. So, yeah, he's he's in it, he's involved in it. That's um, inspiring as shit. Will Smith's son's in it. Ah. So it's like, it's about, it's basically like, it's about, I mean, we had, it was about Flash. It's about the Bronx, about how it was... Um, sectioned into into certain areas and how each DJ controlled. Mm. Uh, you had Herc, you had Flash and Bambata. But each one of them had a different style. Uh, people don't think about that or realise that. Where Herc was playing music, mm. playing all kinds of music, full records and, you know, for, mm. for, for parties, like, for the party kind of vibe. Mm. Um, Flash was more about the technical side of it. Hmm. His story, I don't know if I've seen his inter- recent interviews. I've seen a his few His story recent, yeah. is, is about how when he was a kid, he used to have to take things apart to, to suss out how he worked. And he continued as he got older and we started, you know, the whole hip hop thing come along and he, he started getting Studied into music. He, yeah. he had to suss out how to, because how to, the records, rec- Turntables never came the way they are now. Mm-hmm. You couldn't go to a shop and buy a, a, a turntable yeah. the way they are now. So like the set up now yeah. for DJs to play with. They were not set up like that. Flash had to design that. Flash had to take it all apart. Flash had to figure it out. Because when he, he, the mat, the place mat that they, they came with was rubber, so it didn't slip. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a slip mat like we call them a slip mat, wasn't that? His mother was a seamstress. So he understood, you know, we used to go around feeling stuff in shops and go, and until he got the right material and he made, he cut it out himself. So, you know, he he went through all this, even the drive, the whole, and the needles as well. He had to figure out that how, you know, why the needle was skipping when he was scratching. So he had to redesign the needle. See, see, people do not realise the, the the depth of, of um, te- te- the technical side of someone like Flash had to... Put into without flash, there wouldn't be hip hop. The way it is today, there wouldn't be hip hop the way it is today. Yeah, or DJ culture. The way that's what I'm today. saying. Yeah, one guy. Yeah, give well, the fucking hip-hop flowers, concert. man. Yeah, okay. We all know writing started way before the other elements. Yeah. Started off in Philly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And the difference between why why it took off in New York differently than it did in Philly because Philly never took it to the piecing level. They were still tagging on the tra- trains yeah, and the buses yeah, yeah. and the on the streets. Mm. That's all they they stuck to just tagging. Different tagging yeah. styles, never yeah. elevated Wickets it to pieces. Like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. They never elevated it to pieces. Yeah. Whereas New York took it to pieces. Yeah. And uh, the 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 organic growth of it because of like right, this train's full of tags now. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna stand out? Yeah. So I've got to do something a little bit bigger, and it's media oh. capital as well. Like New York is, the, you know, it's the, the it's the beacon of where all things get exposed. So yeah, the, yeah. yeah, but these things don't happen overnight, and they don't yeah. happen. I don't think back then do do consciously happened. As in, it's pure, it's genuine. Even sit, you know, about New York's is a beacon. It's a it's a the capital of whatever. Only from a media point. But of view. It, gro- yeah. it gro- Yeah, but even that's still alone. It's it's a natural growth mm. over years. You do know? you think hip hop helped um, New York's? It certainly helped its identity. But do you think it helped in a media sense? Did, it gave it almost like New York owes hip hop. Yeah, billions. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the no, same way, does- no, how many people? How many of us? How many people travel to New York on a regular basis from the, around the world and put money into that city just to go and see hip hop? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's a thousand on percent. all levels. Yeah, they, New York doesn't realize this. No. America doesn't realize this. Times the world Square, doesn't realize this. People want to see this, this shit. This yeah. and these topics have never been touched before. I've never heard people talking about this before. Why? Why are people not? You gotta ask yourself some questions. Comment below. Tell us what you're saying, man. man. Damn, they're not. You know, (sighs) hip hop is bigger than what people realize. 
I remember hearing Red Alert at one of the events in New York. I think it was the, at the, um, the not the DMCs, the other one in New York. Uh, ITF? ITF? The DMCs is the DJ Championships. There's yeah. ITF. Yeah. There's Scratch Con. No, 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 no. We're going back to mid 90s, I'd say. Anyway, he was on stage and he was explaining shit. And something he said to me was quite surprising. You know, it, sh not, it didn't shock me, you know, but it made me think, wow. Hip hop at one point was the fifth biggest money making thing on the planet. And this is behind things. I mean, it was only banking, the oil industry, something else and something else, and then hip hop. Because of the the music side of it, mm. the graph side of it, you know, like the, all the companies and the clothing side of it, the whole lot. It was the fifth biggest money making spinning thing in, on the planet at one point, and I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doubtful if it's close there now still, because you look at someone, even a few individuals now, are probably making more money than. A lot of other cultures, you know, like mm. the like Jay Z yeah. and you know, what I mean, Kanye and, and so, yeah, making my bank. These yeah. silent ones, there's people mm. that people don't understand how big they are, you know what I mean? Mm. This who, who don't want that limelight, don't need that limelight, they're making so much money, you know what I mean? They don't, they don't care within hip hop, mm. record label owners and stuff mm. like that, especially out in the US. Some Russell but, yeah, it's shit. huge, hip hop is huge, which it's, it's nothing that hasn't been touched by hip hop, and it's nothing that. Hip hop hasn't touched, mm. and it still doesn't get the recognition it should get. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's still like kids playing, kids just doing this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it ain't. It's, it's an Olympic sport in two <laughs> years' time. Some real shit. Whether it's you like that really or not, shit. whether we like that or not, and let's not forget New York City Breakers put in that petition in 1984. So mm. it's not a new thing. Mm -hmm. And I agree. You know, the Olympics probably said, nah, we don't want it. Because no. yeah. I, I, it wasn't ready. Ready wasn't ready. Yeah. It wasn't ready for it. I Didn't agree. Have enough generations behind it, not enough not infrastructure. That, it wasn't to, yeah. yeah, it wasn't to do with the, the passion. We all had the passion. Mm. But I don't, think the, we, I don't think we had the skill on the level that, the level we're on now. Pah. And if, mm. if the level they're rising to is, 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 it's because of that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. That's yeah. great. It's amazing. I love that. You know what I mean? You make it's that. still to me though. It's still um, culture before sport, without a doubt. Well, this is what's coming. Without to. a doubt, this is what's just going to come come to. You make me want to be more hip hop. You you are like a fucking okay sign in my mind of someone that says, "Yeah, I'm doing it. I do it, and I'll continue doing it." Um, culture first. Religi religiously so. Mm. It's got to be, otherwise what else have we got? We, we, we wouldn't have the option of, of crossing over to sport if it wasn't for the culture. Quick side note. Uh, I'll be intrigued to know this. Talk me through a day in the life of Tough Tim Twist. We're talking religious, culture, appreciation here. Give me a day in the life of Tough Tim Twist. Now, presently. Right now, yeah. Right. Apart from obviously coming onto the world's greatest podcast, but you know, okay. Any other given day, I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna get deep, and I'm gonna get, um, tell the truth. I start every day suicidal until I wake up and get out of bed. I, I wish I was dead because of the shit I've gone through. You know, you do because of my my childhood. I mean, I've got, I've got. I'm bipolar, I've got post-traumatic stress disorder, I've got OCD, I suffer with extreme anxiety when it hits me. Um, stress, my stress levels can go from 0 to 60 in seconds, you know what I mean? All depends, so I have to control all this all the time. Mm. So I, I, I suffer with insomnia, so I have to, I'm on tablets to sleep. If I don't take them, I don't sleep. I can, I've gone like six days, no sleep. And it's like, well, how do I how do I sleep? How do I sleep? You know, doctors are like, you know, you you got to come on because you're not meant to stay on these tablets for more than X amount of times. I've been on it for years. You know what I mean? And I'm taking more than what you should do. Really? Because I can't sleep. So yeah, every day, every wow, the first wow. thing before I get up, yeah, I'm I'm suicidal. I'm like, I could very easily just stay there and and 
just hope I'm dead, you know. But once I'm up, it's like a different. I'm like a different person. Once I'm up, what's the process? Because there's people out there that can relate. I'm sure of it. Yeah. But how do you get those two feet on the floor when you wake up? Then, how, how, what's the process in your head to get you out of bed? Um, first of all, for years I never, I didn't get out of bed. Seven months I stayed in bed almost every day, and and this is when I injured my back. When I did my back in mm. prolapse this in my back, yeah. that was the biggest injury for me. That just stopped me dead. You know what I mean? And I, I kind of like I spoke to me and Timber that were out in um, Hungary. Battle of the Year in Hungary one year. And uh, we were just chatting away. I used to say to him, I remember saying to him, I wish I could have a break from this, from the dance, so I could come back with the same passion and feel it like like it was brand yeah, new yeah, again. Yeah, and so you. I'd never done it before. Playfulness, like, the playfulness yeah, is there. Yeah, because like, yeah. I know it too much mm. and I want that feeling again. Curiosity. And all of a sudden it happened. And oh, I thought, because you're back. injury. Yeah. I was forced, it was forced upon me. So I thought, I'll have a break, you know, I'll wait for it to heal, because I've had a slip disc. I slipped my disc the first year. When I was 18, I slipped my disc. It never, it never healed. I never, it never slipped back in. So I danced my whole career from 18 <sighs> till 57 now with a, with a slip disc, with an injury. With everybody talks about injuries. I was injured from the beginning. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> it's my, it's all my right. phone, man. It's yeah. just live. Call it in 0800-555-623. But anyway, yeah, I had to slip this from the get go. But because I was so young, fit, healthy, I could, and had a good lifestyle, as mm. in, I was, um, I was so busy. I had no time to worry about mm. that. And I've always been what I was, what, what used to be called. Um, a manic depressive, which I just thought was depression. Mm. See, that's what bipolar is. Bipolar, people don't understand what bipolar is. Bipolar is manic depression. It's just a new word, new terminology. Mm. For, and the manic is the high. So when you get high, I'm like, mm -hmm. when I, I won the champs being manic. Mm -hmm. I traveled the world. Wow. I got myself in serious situations I, I knew I shouldn't be in. Manic. Bipolar, you know what I mean? It puts you, it makes you, it gives it you puts, a, it put you in those places, to be, you know. That yeah, because I had no fear. The back, because I was so high, manic wise, it makes you believe that you're invincible. Genuinely, you think you can conquer the world, I, and I conquered the fucking world fucking as far as I could. I, I did it. Yo, you saw the chance, mad. my ankle <laughs> and the champs. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have, that should never have happened. Talk, to, talk should, to him about that, the ankle, the champs. So. The UK champs, yeah, that's another story. injury that, yeah. that put me out. Anyway, back to the... Um, the point we were making, the day in the life. The, the, yes, yes, yes. Okay, day in the life. Once a month, training, training starts. After a bit of procrastination, mm. and that's because of the... Mm. Fucking internet yeah. now. Yeah, we're all Don't pros at that. Fucking head in, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I hate it, but I love it. We need it. Yeah. So it's necessary now, it's necessary, especially yeah. for us with promotion and stuff so, like that. Yeah. And connection as well. You know, worldwide we've got connections. We need to speak to each other. That's but anyway, right. yeah. Once I've done all that, it's it's gym, run, dance, as often as possible, daily, without a doubt. I was, I go to the gym. See, I've got a, I've got a lifetime pass at my gym. Free, because I painted the whole gym. He's got the, my friend of mine, Raga, at uh, um, Body FX. I thought it was you. The Relentless that, Body FX. For, that's sick. It's a hardcore gym back in my town in Runcorn. It's like a it's like a boxing military. It's looking... both. It's got two gyms, and they're across the road from each other. One's just bodybuilding. One's MMA. It's, it's a beautiful UFC place. Gym. It looks awesome. If you go on yeah. Tough Tim's Instagram, which I do urge, and I hope everyone does, you are. <laughs> I, it's inspiring as fuck. And, and I'm, I've painted around the gyms. Yeah, we're getting to your, yeah, we'll your graph in a bit because that, that's another level I've as well. i painted around the gyms all, all the you know, yeah. legends. So they're watching me all the time. They're inspiring me. They're watching me all the time. So I've got, I've got eyes on me all the time. That's brilliant. So, yeah, dancing. Um, I'm, I'm probably dancing three or four days a week now two or three hours a day. Not at the level I used to be because I'm building it up. 
Because I'm yeah. just coming back from like being way overweight because of the injury, because mm-hmm. um, of the, the depression, the bipolar, all that. You know what I mean? Do the tablets and, also the tab- had a factor yeah, in the yeah, the so. tablets that they, they, they mm-hmm. have me on mm-hmm. the um, by, um, for um, for the bipolar basically. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mental health. Um, they didn't help. You know what I mean? They put weight on me. So I'm, I've, I've just about come back from that. I've lost. I was 21 stone at my worst, at my my peak. Wow. Probably a little bit bro. more. Probably almost touched 22 yeah, stone yeah. one one winter. I remember. You look so well, bro. It's so crazy. I've lost about. I'm down to 13 stone at the moment. Come I would put. That ain't no mean feat. That's no, work. I but I in February the fourth this year at a friend's funeral, I, I popped my calf. I was DJing. And I went to come from round the decks to do a little bit of dancing. Yeah. And I felt something, oh, literally, I could feel it. I could, like I could hear it pop. And I popped my calves. I've no way. done something to my calf. So I've lo- I put about well, two stone on since February like, this year. So And I've lo- I think I've lost about another stone again. How's your that. calf now? It's okay now. It's good, fine good. now. Yeah. It's a little tiny little niggle. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still conscious of it, you know what I mean, when I'm running. But I was getting to, I was getting to a point. It's still a day in the life, don't worry. I was getting to a point with me running because I love running. Mm. I hear these people that when I say, people say about losing weight, but I say, I run, I run, I blah, oh, I can't run. These people that say, I can't I run. Fucking hate I can't run. I can't run. Yeah. Everybody can run. We can all run. You know, we all run. Do you know the reason why animals run so fast but for so short and we we run so far for so long? It's because we actually, we, to, to eat, we used to have to chase those animals mm. down. Mm. We used to have to run after them. Human beings mm. used to have to run. It was normal for us to run and catch something. Mm. Yeah? And they'd out sprinters. They, they'd try and out sprinters, you know, the animals. Yeah. And that's the difference. But anyway, yeah. So I, I've never I, I thought was, about it like that. That's, I was, that's and that's sick. true. That, that's true. If you yeah. go right back into history, we used to run to, to catch our food, you know? Once you've, you know, you've, you've hit it with a brick or something, I don't know, with an arrow. Good, good, good. Die, food, and eat I'm, you. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so I got how many? How long do you? One second. So how long do you run for? At the moment, I do like forty-five minutes a day. But this is what I was going to say. What's that? What's that? Three miles? Three, four miles? Yeah, something like that, roughly. Yeah. But I was getting. I got to a point where I could run and I could run as far as I wanted to, for as long as I wanted to. I was doing three hours Mm. at a time, and coming home and going, going to my son like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not Anymore? even knackered yeah. and I think that's what did me calf in I think I got to a point where because I'm not good with the nutrition side of, of things you know I'm like Who an old school you know I mean? ballerina or mm. gymnast how they used to train them yeah, yeah. I, I used to start again I go back to my childhood I used I was starved I was deprived of food and drink some of the things I, I had to cope with, you know what I mean? I've, I've, it's followed on into my adulthood. I'm used wow. to it. It's ingrained into me. So the discipline if, of that, because you haven't, you, you didn't get, have what you no, wanted. If I had food, sometimes it would be, I'd be halfway through it and I'd get it whipped off me and thrown away for just doing, saying the wrong thing or whatever, you know? Mm. Or the food we had was limited, was small, you know? So I was That's like... fucking trauma right there. It's bro. horrible. Yeah. You know, I, I, wow. I remember once... Being grounded for for nothing. It's a complicated situation, but I, I remember just being grounded for nothing. Put it this way: my stepmother. I was my father was at work. He used to work shifts. My stepmother was like she was the evil stepmother. Mm. She, you know, she was like the um, the epitome of what an evil Cinderella stepmother. shit. Yeah. yeah, and she used to. She, we couldn't even have a drink. Couldn't drink water, so I used to have to go to the toilet. And pretend I was on the toilet in order to get a drink. But she heard me running the tap too long. She knew I was drinking. So I used to flush the toilet and drink the water out of the fucking toilet, man. You know what I mean? And this, because I was... When, you t- when you're threatened with, like, yeah, of beatings and shit, yeah. when you're a little kid, you believe it. Yeah. I believed I was going to, you know, yeah. get the... Uh, uh, well, we got them on a regular basis. She's not my teeth out when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. For not eating a sausage, I didn't like them. She knocked my teeth out. You know what I mean? What's your um? What do your kids think of this? When when they you talk to them about your history, I mean, do they know the majority of this stuff? Is the 
Is this a widely talked thing in your family? Yeah. yeah. They know about it. But they've heard the story so much now, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Well, I don't no. think I don't think 45 minutes on a podcast does you justice. You it's, need a book, bro. It's not long you enough. You need a fucking book. Of course. Book. Well, there's a documentary coming up. We're working on a documentary. We'll get into that in a bit. Brilliant. You know what I mean? so, the, so the life and time... So the training, yeah. Yeah. Let's get Gym, into that. weights and um, running and dancing. That's a day in a life. And I've got... And it's a necessity. It's not just like... If I, if I don't do one of those things, mm. if my routine changes, that's when my bipolar changes a grip again. My bipolar is like a dark shadow. It's here now. At the moment, I've really got it under control. It's doing, I'm doing really well. You're doing fucking It follows me. Yeah. It's probably in my bag, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I explain to people, I try to explain to my therapist when, they've, when, when they come to see me in the past, you know what I mean? Mm. When they walk in the room, it... it, it it's a, it's a shadow. I, mm. I explain it like a shadow. Mm. When they, no one's here, when when I'm on my own, it's the voices in my ear. Mm. It's telling me, um, you know, I'm I'm a failure. Blah blah blah. I don't bother doing this. Don't bother. What's the point? And as soon as someone walks in the room, it disappears, but it hides in the corner. Mm. <laughs> and it's That's and it's up there, and so I know it's up put, there, wow. and it's going, it's going. It's listening to everything we're talking you, about. You as soon as you, if you were to walk out of the room now, yeah. it'd be going. It'd come back and go. Don't listen to him. Yeah. Don't believe what he's telling you yeah. what you... You're not... No. You know that you're not blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, but I am, no. You've done it. You've seen it. Oh, bless yeah, you. Yeah, but no. You can't do it no Bless more. you, Tim. Fucking so hell. I, 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 so I have to do them things. Mm. My family are just starting to understand it. Right. My brother, my sisters, my you know, they're just starting to really see it and understand it because I've had to break down to explain it. Mm. Because they've not understood it. They've not understood that I can't come to this thing, this this, this gathering or... Because, you know, family, regular regular life or regular people, it's all, all every weekend they're doing mm. something, like down the pub or doing this or doing that. I can't do that every week. Cause you're I can't go with that. My house just... Br- I will shit. collapse. Yeah, yeah. I will just mm. die. I will disappear. And I can. I have to need. I, I need to do these things to survive for myself. As you get older, um, and this is maybe a little known fact, but you have to. When you're younger, it's all about the uh, cardio. But as you get older, you have to build your mus- You have to use more weights and build your muscles up yeah. as you get on. Yeah. Is that part of? Is that part of the regimented exercise in the gym? Because I see, I've noticed on your videos, you're doing a lot of weights, and yeah. obviously, as a b boy, okay, there's some there's some core strength that you need to have to hold your own weight yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in the dance. Yeah. But there is this other factor of age where you you have to keep your muscles moving. It's like the that. joints. There I'm feeling go. it in my joints now. Right. I'm getting like pains in my joints that I've never had before, right. and it's because I'm still carrying a two stone more than I used to. Right. I was eleven stone roughly yeah. at my peak. I'm thirteen, so I'm two stone heavier still. Yeah. So I've still got another two stone Down to drop if I can yeah, yeah. until a point. See, I've said to my son, my son's watching me. He's training hard as well. You know, nice. he's doing his own thing. He's dancing. Still. Brilliant. But he's, he plays football as well. You know. Mm. Um, but I said, I've said to my son. I'm not going to... I don't know where it's going to take me. I don't know how long I'm going to carry on. All I, I want to carry on forever. Yeah. But if I get to a point where I'm fit, I feel like I'm fit and I'm, I'm, I should be doing more, you know, I should be able to do it, I'll have to start rethinking. That's hard, isn't I it? But, but at the same hard, time, I'm, I, we can dance, we can adapt. Yeah, yeah. We can, I go out... I go out to other other things now, like Northern Soul Night, still lovely, and other 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 events, other little things. They like have di- them up north. They they have the Northern mm, Soul events. Mm. There's a new pub opening on the 13th of this month in my town. It's just it's called the Northern Bar. It's just going to be Northern Soul. That's awesome. I'm coming out to see you. Yeah, that sounds every wicked. Week, you know what I mean? <gasps> and it's that's the cardio. You're talking about cardio. Yeah. I'll just dance all night. I'll dance more than the people that claim to be Northern Soul. 
and they're looking at me and go, but but I've I know I've got something extra it. in the bag. Yeah. So if they yeah. they want to like step to me, I'll just drop down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you know I mean? They don't know the, the, the yeah exactly no. the, the secret. I think they've learned. You know talent. what I mean? The learning. Mm. But um yeah, but I've been to like bigger ones. I've been to Wigan and stuff like that. You know what I mean? In the last few years, you know, because it's like there's a revival yeah. in Northern Soul Big again. Big up with Wigan crew. If yeah. you don't know about your Northern Soul history, that's the mecca. Right yeah, there, without Northern a doubt, Soul. man. That Blackpool. You know, Big up Wigan. I play. I've been there a couple of times. I fucking yeah. I love Wigan, man. I've got a lot of time for that place. For the for the history alone is fucking yeah, yeah. amazing. But that, but that helps with the cardio. Yeah. You're the you know dancing yeah. on top. So yeah. I go to, I'll go to, disco nights and everything, and just, just dance in. disco. But I'll just dance. Keeps you young, doesn't it? It keeps you. It keeps you young. Keeps you. It gives you that. But it gives you that. What you need the adrenaline, the um, and endorphins, the release. Mm. You know what I mean. You, you, know, you know what's amazing about this you character, guys? <laughs> Without that, yeah, yeah, you've, you're, you know, you got, you're, you're not, ex- you're, you're just existing. I just want to talk know? to the audio crew at the moment because if you're listening and not watching, like Tim is fuck. Is, it, Peter Pan's an understatement. We're dealing with a dude here that is just. He looks like a, the lust for life is just in him. Benji you don't, Tim Button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What was it again? Benji <laughs> Tim Button. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, dude. You, you really, you. It keeps you young, doesn't it? This it does, culture. yeah, it does. I mean, come on, fifty-seven, man. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm just, not fifty-seven. Yeah, that man. doesn't compute in my head. Oh. But, 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 but then, but then there, there's maybe there's a complacency on my part, and maybe the majority of the hip hop culture in the UK, especially, there's a complacency that Tim will always just be there. And I, and I, and I don't mean that to sound in any which way like you're going anywhere. Mm. It's more like it's just a presumption. You're such a, and this is coming from me. You're such a figurehead. And it's such a huge influence in my lifetime in in mm. the culture. It, of course you, of course you're young. <laughs> of course you're going to be break dancing. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine your life not having those things. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. Crazy, crazy. Can't live without it, man. Can't stop, won't stop. Mm. I said, why did you uh, leave Rock City Crew? I never left. I was dropped out. Why were you dropped out? Because um, it's bonkers to me. Because like you put everyone in, and okay. then you, you the, the 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 plug disappears. What happened? Twenty seventeen, my last time I went to the anniversary right. in New York. Um, le- we went out for a meal. The whole crew we were all there, and legs basically pulled it out of the bag. You know, he was passing it on to the new generation, which mm. I understand is great. So, I was re- I was kind of like, I don't know, man. It wasn't doing me any good in in the, in the end anyway. Mm. If I had any, I don't. I didn't know where to go on my own because mm. I was on my own. Mm. You know, all mm. of a sudden I was on my own. All my all my members had we kind of dispersed and we, we were all doing our own thing. Mm. So I should have really left much earlier when some of the other members around the world also mm-hmm. had already left, you know what I mean? I should have. I should have had... I should have, one, supported them, two, done it for myself. Mm-hmm. Because I kind of... I knew it was coming. I knew it would come in the end. Um, and basically, legs was passing it on to a new generation. Mm-hmm. But we all know what happened after that, and it's mm-hmm. kind of, like, blown up and destroyed itself now. Imploded, you know what I mean? Rocksteady mm. still holds its weight in its history. It's not. Of course, yeah, we yeah. can never destroy that. No. Can't take and, that away. That's different. And it's still moving. It's still mm. doing its thing. Yeah. It's just it, it, like I'm you say. I'm not even on about that at all. Yeah. One yeah, yeah. little bit. Yeah. I just wanted to be clear on that yeah. because we're, we're talking about doubt, else. same respect and same love for yeah. Rocksteady and its history. Yeah. Without a doubt. Would you 100%. join if, if he was like, "Yo, I want you back in," because you're a fucking don Tim to Tim Twist? Would Would you come back in? Would you do it? Who's asking me? Uh, if Flex asked you. No. You wouldn't? No. It's interesting. Because that, you know why? Why? Because that hasn't been the, the, resolved yeah. yet. Right. It's not been resolved yet. What needs, resolved? Get, what, what needs to be resolved? What needs to be resolved? It hasn't been resolved. It hasn't been dealt with. So he just didn't talk to you after the fact? And I have not. No. Nope. I, I remember discussing with many people about my mental health and being laughed at and being like, come on, man, man up, mm. by certain individuals. Really? 
And then all of a sudden, when something happens, and they bl- and they, they say, I've I, I've got mental health problems. Mm. I'm depre- I was depressed, mm. and that's why I did it. Mm. I you know. Mm. What, that's just like what the fuck, man. When I was when you know when I was expressing mine. When you needed it the most. When I needed the, the mm. support and help, you didn't believe me. But all of a sudden now you're getting caught for something, you were depressed. Come on, please. You know, as kids, man, we, grew, we were all grown up and we're all told, find yourself, find something that you love doing. Mm. When we found hip hop, we all found ourselves. This is what I try to tell people. I, I, a lot of my generation, the, the ghosts, if they've not already passed away, which a lot of them have, I've, lo- I've lost a handful of my closest friends, Lacey, Mm. Oh, Shine, peace, DJ Shine. Lacey. <gasps> yeah. For you know, Is was unfortunate. Is was yeah. a knock, a hit and run yeah. while yeah. he was out jogging. Shine, my writing partner, St- Style Stars Art Crew. He hung. Uh, he committed suicide. He jumped off his old school. What? Rhino from Street Machine. Mm. He was. A, he was like me and him were music partners. We were making beats and and Rest music in back yeah. in the nineties. He hung himself. What? Um, Christ. This yeah. is mental health business, isn't it? They, they, and these are the my, um, and um, Chris Jones, a local kid. Hmm. He was an MC. Um, I took him under my wing. He he passed away. He had um, his, his was drug related. You know hmm. what I mean? He had, he had a bad trip or whatever. I yeah. don't know what the, the the full details, but he passed away after having having something. So these and these are these are literally my closest. People, yeah, yeah, yeah. so losing people that close, Lacey, I used to go to these people for, for my guidance for and guidance yeah. and and let off steam, you know, to talk and, and hang out with and 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 these are the people that have all got my history, my my, my our um, history together, our lessons. And they're all I've got in no their to talk lives. To. Yeah. They're not there no more for me to go. Ah, I remember, I haven't got that no more. They've gone. I've lost them. So I thought that that hit me hard. Of course it did. You know, to lose your closest friends who you talk to mm. about everything, mm. that hit me hard. Yeah. So yeah, finding ourselves. And there's a lot of people. If you haven't passed, the ones who haven't passed away, the ones who are still here, they're just they're still lost. They're lost. They're so lost. They're walking. The ghosts like ghosts. And I I tell them, you, mm. you what are you looking for? Because you you found it. At the mm. moment we got into, we all got into hip hop. We found who mm. we were. Why do you think you were so good at it yeah, yeah, yeah. so quickly? That's becoming more prevalent in my life. That don't I let this go think, because yeah, I can't let it go. There's nothing this else. Is for, this is our purpose. Yeah, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. I fucking love you. Said that. You know what I mean? That's I what fe- we're I feel here that. for. And if you know, if you're new and up and coming in this game, out there in the, in the hip hop culture, in Ellie element. And you love it, stick with it because that's what you're here for. Yeah. That's what you're searching for. You found it. Yeah. Don't go looking for nothing else. You know? Don't don't let anything else pull you away because as long as you put the effort and the and the and the, the time into it, you'll get rewarded. Mm. Without a doubt. It. Sounds like a, an appropriate moment. It's hard work. It ain't yeah. easy. But every, anything worth having is hard work. Hard work. Um, it, it feels like a, a natural time to pull up on conversation but I do want to get into your theories more. yeah I want more <laughs> I let's want to keep know going more. man it's going to be the longest one <laughs> this this arguably is one of my favourite podcasts I think it's one of my favourite podcasts I've done and I just I'm, I'm totally in a, if I'm listening back to this which you will be back. editing Kells I'm going to be fucking with both ears pinned back what's your thoughts on um, on breakdance in 2022 at the Olympics um <sighs> I, originally, I was very. Bear in mind, twenty twenty four is when it's happening, but we're going yeah, through these, these. Paris. Yeah, we're going through these things. Now. I was very skeptical, but I'm, I'm just very interested in um, how it's going to be presented, mm. how it's going to be presented by mm. us, mm-hmm. and how it's going to be accepted by the public. Mm. Are they gonna? Is it going to be something similar to? I'd probably say Red Bull BC One. Yeah. How they operate, yeah. which to me is. It's good, you know. It's very colourful. It's very mm. lights, camera, action. Mm. But the action is us. It's not. Mm. It's not. There's no. There's no special effects by 
any anybody other than the B boys. Mm. And that's what it should be about. Mm. You know, we bring these special effects. Mm. So, yeah. First of all, very spe um, very suspicious in a way. You know, skeptical. Yeah, that's right. the word. But um, now I'm kind of like, I'm looking forward to it in a way mm. because it's breathing, it's breathing. I hope it doesn't breathe a generation of b-boys who only train for... The Olympics. Well, yeah. it's only four times a year. You've got to remember that, you know what I mean? But uh, but obviously, yeah, there's going to be um, spin-offs. Mm. There's going to be other things. Now, you're seeing the first b-boy athletes now being sponsored by major companies yeah, yeah, yeah. you know crazy i've always said i used to say i mean we've got you've got the red bull all stars i used to say you're gonna see um the nike, nike b-boy right, yeah. team the yeah. adidas b-boy team the gucci B you're gonna see all that eventually that shit's exciting you know? isn't it? it's gonna That's... it's gonna happen um and you know you you it's it is. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's already starting to happen. I've Individual been, B boys are being sponsored. And B girls are being sponsored by yeah, yeah, the big, right. big names. Happening. Nike, Adidas. Do you? Would you see yourself in the upcoming years leading up to and beyond? Would you see yourself as like a teacher? Would you? Would you recruit or at least open doors to the idea of young people wanting to be trained as break dancers and you be their their as uh, like teacher? a coach? Yeah, mentor. Yeah, a coach. Um, That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Of course, yeah. I mean, I've done, it's something I've always done. Yeah. I've always taught, so it's a natural process. Can well, anyone do what, it? What they want to do with it, it's up to them. Can anyone do it? Can if I was to come up wrong corn and you, you build them, you build a monster. Can mm. it be any age? Could it? Could it be my age? Could it be younger or older? Any age, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's down to the individual, the passion. Yeah. Yeah. If the drives there and the passions there, yeah. and they're willing to put the work in, anybody can do it. There's been very few individuals, one or two, who've tried hard and have not mm -hmm. been able to do it. And it's just unfortunate. It's just, it's just not built for it. I don't know, you know what I mean? But over the years, the majority of, pe of people I've, I've, I've took under the wing and trained. I mean, Mouse I is one of them. You know? Big up Mouse. Actually, we'll get into Mouse as well. Yeah, yeah he, he loves like, you, dude, as much as I right. do. The fact that you're just still there and doing it and he's just, you're such a mentor to him. Mm. From a breakdancing point of view, from a b-boy point of view, he adores you. <laughs> like he's he said it public on podcast, um, which is being edited as we uh, as we speak. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. He's one of the real ones. Yeah, love mouse. Without a doubt, man. Yeah. But also, here's the other thing as well: is uh, your graffiti. Now, we're talking about my writing. <laughs> well, we're, we call it what you want. It's fucking in incredible. Like you're one of the one of the main kind of. I started, people I, that I started really brought both that in. breaking and the um, graph at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Towards back in the day, in back in the eighties, it was a natural to, it was a natural a natural thing to do all try all elements. Yeah. So we we did we we all tried all elements, mm. and then you find what you're good at, or you enjoy, or or you love, and writing and b boying with. You're so ahead of the time, though, man. Like when I see some of the old stuff that you used to do. Like my big up b-boy documents, you know, he's... he's oh, people, no. It's crazy. People still, I mean, to this day, still don't realise the, the crew we were in. We were a very small crew. I mean, mm. really, it was just me and Shine, the two mm -hmm. of us. But we, we, you know, we made waves, style yeah. styles. The art crew, always. Mm. That's where the name Always Rocking Tough come, comes from. Originally, it was a graph crew, you know. It was, it was style stars, the style stars, mm. art crew. And then we dropped the style, you know, eventually we dropped... I, I moved more in, back into the b-boying mm. or doing more b-boying. So I took the, the art crew with me and it was always rocking stuff. You know what I mean? God, that's fucking cool. So cool. Dude. Still one of the dopest names, man. For, with uh, that question. There's only other one name that rivals that is Tag Touch and Go. Now okay. that's clever. That's a okay. clever bit of a... Uh, I remember. So, always rocking tough. Get the fuck in. Who was it? I think it was... It was um, Flo... Um, Flowmaster, yeah, out in the US. They were, when they first started doing stuff in Vegas, they were doing shit. They had to come up with a name. This was like Wiggles and Flowmaster and all them guys, Wicket people mm -hmm. like that. And I, this is a story I was told. Mm -hmm. Flowmaster said, "Oh, it's fucking tough that name." I said, "Don't it. Wiggles like, "No man, that's Tim. You can't. That's Tim Swift's name. That's his crew name." Yeah, but no, no. 
<laughs> that's, that's her name. So you can't do that. Yeah, but it's a dope name. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing that they were going to plagiarise your fucking <laughs> name just because they thought they had a level of uh, Just because of how dope it is, man. Because it's got the rock in it. You know, the original form. Because yeah. like you say, b-boying, get, get down, they get down, they go off, yeah. rocking. Yeah. They're all names that are like, go so far back, you know yeah. what I mean? And always rocking. And the way we used to spell that as well, man, A-W, the way we speak. Mm. You know, we don't pronounce every letter in, in, mm. in street slang. Mm -hmm. It was always A-W, well, it's a ways. It actually spells a ways, mm. but it's not. It's always A-W-A-Y-Z. Rocking R O C I N tough T U F. Everybody always says, but, but with my name, tough twist, it's always do two T's or yeah. D O U G H. No, mm -hmm. it's one T, one F. Mm -hmm. T U F. Tim Twist. Tough Tim Twist. Know the fucking name, kid. Triple T. Hold tight. You know what I mean? Another one of the uh, triple bowel. You know, mm -hmm. another one of those. Think about it. It's, a, it's like a. It's in. It's. It's one of those names when you're being brought on stage, mm. it lasts long enough for you to walk out to it. <laughs> yeah. Tough, Tim, to it. You know what I mean? Not that is boom, so, one name. So true. People These are little things, yeah. like, you know. And it's just a, again, it's just a, a confident name you can rely on. You mm. know what you're getting. Tough like <laughs> Tim Twist, son. What's the future, T? What's, what is the future of, of Tough Tim Twist? I'm just going to keep going. God knows. Mm. Literally, you know. I'm just gonna keep going. I wanna, I wanna. Um, I'd love to. You know what? I'd love to see more. I think the culture's got to become more um, conscious of its elders, mm -hmm. for one. Thousand percent. We Thousand don't. Percent. We don't have like. Um, we don't. We need to bring them back. More of the elders back, getting back more involved in the culture. Mm. We've got to find a way of doing it. Yeah. Be it judging. Be it. Teaching, be it lecturing, be yeah. it performing, anything, yeah, yeah, even. Yeah, or, or, I mean, it's just, I get it all the time now. I'm posting my videos up. I'm 57 years old, young, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I'm getting like messages saying, you know, come on, Tim, stop it. You're, you're making all those old B boys look yeah, too lazy. fucking right, bro. That's exactly it. You're making it. us all come, what, you get know. Get the fuck up, you're the us, You're making us look lazy. Yeah. We, we've got to get off our asses now. Yeah. Yeah, I want a league. I'd love to see a league. But don't be bringing no league to me if it's like four. Fuck the fucking dirty thirties and the mm. fucking whatever forties. I'm fifty-seven. Proper shit. It's got to be fifty and up. I'm fifty is a bit still a bit young. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you want to compete against me and make me step my level up, because again, environment. I've got no one. I'm dancing solo. Mm. Every now and then, I will. Me and our son will get a, one practice in a month together. You know what I mean? Because he's busy doing his mm. football. But if I was, I'm telling you, man, if I was in an environment where every day I'm going out and there's other B-boys, but again, I'm you're not looking, even joking. Yeah, man. yeah, you're just my a, level would yeah. go like. But again, you're dealing overnight. with people, you're dealing with age equivocals in your generation. People just ain't getting out of their fucking sofas. Yeah, that's a real yeah. problem, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because you, okay, you'll be taught a lot of amazing things, but you're not what you got to have your peers. You got to have people that are around you that kind of. Yeah, talk, talk bit, the same yeah, talk. Yeah. Yeah. It's no good, it, you know, mm. being around me trying to keep up with these new cats. Mm. Again, it's not like the conversation's different. Once yeah, the right, yeah. training is over, yeah. their, their lives, lives are slightly different. You yeah. know, they're going to be different. We don't yeah. do what we, we kind of used to do. You know, some of these get back to the Olympics again. I was trying to, a point I was going to try and make about, I don't want to see a breed of B boys being bred where. They're being told by the coaches, the, the parents, or whatever, that, oh no, you can't go to the club tonight. Yeah, you're, you're training train, for this because yeah. you're training. You're not allowed to. You know what I mean? Because mm. it's that serious now. Yeah. You know we're, we're going after this year coming up now. I guarantee you're going to see a hell of a lot more breaking publicly, either on TV. I mean, mm. we we you get it all all day long on the internet mm. all as much as you want yeah. but it's never been, it's not been back in the public eye on, on regular TV yeah. for a long time the way it used to it, yeah. the way it was when we started yeah. we might like I think we Dion might Blue see Pete that again like that. Yeah, yeah I think we might see it again London All Stars I think Stars the Olympics shit. are good, pro possibly going to be doing more promotion again yeah. with it so by the time the Olympics is, is done and dusted and it's been seen it's going to blow up again it's going to blow up you know what I mean it really is but I don't want to see 
I, I'd hate to see a generation, the new, the next generation, only training for that mm. alone, and mm. not going mm. to jams, mm. not just not dancing and battling for fun. We can't look mm. culture before sport. Yeah, there you it's, go. That's what it's got to be, always. It's the same with all the elements as well. It's got to be culture before work, because you can't get the work without the culture. Mm. If we don't put in the culture, if we don't love what we're doing, which is the culture, you don't deserve. You do, yeah. You're not going to get the work. You're not, yeah, you, sh- right. you don't deserve the work. Can we see? We, you know, we're seeing that now. Mm. I'm seeing. I mean, the internet's flooded with artists who so are not artists. Mm. It's just because the the media, uh, social media savvy. Trained, yeah. That's it. That's all you've got to be now. Do a little bit of art, but if you can manipulate mm. that that the the algorithms mm. and the and the the social media shit, you're, you're going to be far more successful than an artist who, mm. who doesn't really bother about that. Mm. But you've got to but, know your craft. You've got to know the culture. Yeah. You've got to study. I just had an out of body moment as you were talking. I was like, "Tough Tim Twisters in my fucking yard. It's fucking great. Fucking Tough Tim Twisters inside the fucking place. What?" Come on, son. Bro, those are wise words, man. And I think uh, I think for everybody to take away from this is some huge food for thought. And I think... Like I uh, say, you know... I can, you know what I mean? I could go on forever. I wish I, there's so much we could talk about. We can get into this. Let's do part two. We have yeah, to. Yeah, definitely. Part two, three, four. I would four. love to. I would fucking love to. We'll Let's make keep specials. Going, man. We'll have keep special going. episodes. Yeah. We'll have to think about what we're going to be talking yeah. about. Right, we're doing this. That's so you hear it here. This is happening more, more, more. frequently. This well, is I'm happening. trying to move down here again, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to. That's my, ideally, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm down here for, Recky. I want to, like, suss it out. Ooh, it's going to be a biggie. Got a, Come on. You know, I've got to suss out. I'm going to do it. Whoa, this is you know I mean? more hot news I've got to get, in. You know, I want to teach. I want to, yeah. I want to do all these things, get involved. I want to help you. Let's do it. Let's do I it. will help you. Whatever I can by making that happen. And if it means us doing a regular thing on this, I'm fucking game. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah dude. I'm digging first, now man. as well. I'm DJing now a little bit as well. So I'm digging, I'm going, I'm, that's a whole new thing for me as well. I used to collect, but you know, I, I, we all bought records yeah, 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 back in the day, yeah. but now I'm going out digging. Yeah, let's do this, I'm, man. I'm let's searching talk for some that shit. black crack. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's addictive. I've got some record spots I can uh, I can steer you to for this weekend, yeah. man. Yeah, for sure. No, they'll be expensive though, man. I do the charity shop to, where you people don't go. <laughs> and I'm picking up like I got looking out my window. For, <laughs> I got Tom Jones looking out my window for 25p. Stop on this. seven inch. What? <laughs> yeah, well you know about Come that, huh? Come on. We can talk about digging, so, we can talk about all that shit. Mm-hmm. The future's bright, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, tough Tim. Is that Twist. done? We're done. We're done. We're done for now. We're out of here. We're out of here. out of fashion. Big shout out to Tough Tim Twist. Hold tight, all the rock steady crew. Sharing is caring. You know what it is, all right? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't be a stranger, all right? Uh, and uh, yeah, do not sleep. I repeat, do not sleep. On my repeat, you stay lucky, all right? Peace. Peace out. Tough Tim Twist for life.